Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're looking at some video camcorders that you could perhaps check out or have laying around the house that you could start filming with. So do not go anywhere because this video is gonna bring you absolute value. And if that sounds interesting to you, I'm Dave from TVR Creators and I make weekly content on the best cameras for creators. If that sounds interesting, you don't forget to like and subscribe. Now today, as I've just said, I'm gonna be looking at some awesome camcorders that you might have laying around or you might wanna buy online. Now, we're all down to different styles of video. Now, I actually come from a background when I used to use like video camcorders like this and much older, which I'll show you later in the video. So it's a bit of a history lesson today. Um, but what I like about these camcorders, I must admit, I much prefer mirrorless cameras because I'm a versatile, you can change the lenses, wider angle shot, stuff like that. But if you don't want to spend the earth, camcorders are definitely the way to go. A lot of blockers I've seen today, you can actually get like mini ones, which is really cool. And the cameras I'll be talking about today, I would leave their you know their names and stuff in the description below. So the most first one you might want to check out is something like this Canon, which is a really nice camcorder. I actually used one of these um, to film a short film that I made a few years back. And these are really powerful cameras because the batteries are good on them. Um, they have a nice little uh, turn flip screen, which is a touch screen, which is really nice. You can play around the settings. There's a nice little shutter which um, protects the lens, which is really nice. Now these tend to have more sort of digital zoom, so when you zoom in close, sometimes it does get a bit grainy, especially in low light, but the HD quality of this camera is really good. You can get these in HD and 4K now, um, but they do give a very nice crisp video, which is really nice if you're filming video of the family, or maybe you're starting out on video, you want something that doesn't cost the earth. You can get one of these now for about one, 200. Bear in mind the latest model might be a little bit more than that. And I'll definitely recommend you know, make sure you get a couple SD cards, tripod, that sort of thing. And these tend to use SD cards generally. And I would start with maybe something like a 64 gigabit or higher. Make sure you get an extreme one so it produces the video in a quicker, more efficient way. And when you're transferring the data to your computer or laptop, it does it much faster. Um, but these are really nice. You know, like I said, I would say if you're just starting out on video, something like a camcorder, something like this, it's like the modern version. Like I said, you can get some mini versions of different makes and models. Uh, but it's really easy. You just sort of put your hand through. I'm sure you remember back in the day, I mean, these have been quite popular from like the 80s onwards to about sort of the, the mid-teens of the 2000s or maybe like maybe before that. But you know, you just flip it up like that. You can film that you usually have steady shot and stuff like that. Making these cameras really, really versatile. It has microphones on the front and you know, it's perfectly fine for starting out. They have nice little microphones, which gives nice little audio, uh, which is half of all video. They don't tend to have microphone jacks, so you can't usually connect microphones to them. Um, but this is definitely somewhere I would definitely check out if you don't want to spend the earth, but perhaps you want something that's a separate from your phone. Now, another uh, camcorder, I've, I've actually got quite a few laying around. This belongs to a good friend of mine. And this is a slightly older one. Um, it actually has a hard drive built in, so the storage is all inside the camera. This actually has 40 gigabytes already, which is perfectly fine if you're recording the HD. Uh, this is a nice JVC, which is holds a special place in my heart because my first cameras I used to mess around with were JVC cameras. Um, and this also has a micro SD, so you could use that as well. And it just gives you different options when you're storing video or taking photos. Again, it has that nice little shutter on the lens, the protect lens, my microphone on the front, you tend to charge them by just sort of, um, you can get battery chargers, but obviously the older the camera, it will be harder to find that. But you tend to just plug it in by USB cable into a wall with a plug or into your computer or laptop. That generally be the easiest way to do it. And a lot of these cameras are very versatile. You sort of hold the little straps or you have a longer strap that you can hang on yourself, press record. And again, it's very sort of versatile. You just press record and off you go, making it really easy to use these. So if you really start out on video, you, I would say camcorders are very much for people that have just started out on video. You want something that's really easy and versatile. You might even have a camcorder laying around with your family members. So I'll go, definitely go and check it out as I burn here in the sun. It's a beautiful day today. And if you're getting value so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And why not buy us a coffee? Link to that in the description below and supports everything we do here, here on the channel. And actually, before we carry on, question of the day then, do you or any of your family or friends have a camcorder laying around that you could perhaps start with and, and what model is it? Just that pure interest. I was talking to you earlier about how JVC was sort of the beginning of my camera journey and I started my camera journey 
oh, it must be, it's about 20 years ago now, with camcorders like this. And this actually is the first one I bought myself. Uh, my first one's actually one I borrowed from my dad at the time, which was even bigger. I believe it had high eight tapes. This is what they have, what they call uh, mini DV tapes, which is just little tapes. I have actually got one around somewhere, but the principle's the same, your viewfinder, this one has a viewfinder, that a lot of them tend to, nice battery, again, it does have a memory card, though it might only read, oh, it's actually got one inside it, it's got a very old SD card, which has eight megabytes, which is good for about two photos, um, but it has all the same settings, and what I used to like about this, I can't find the charger for you today, but what I used to love about these, is you'd open it up, if you ever watched like a Transformer film, and it'd be like, mm. I used to love watching it come out like that. I used to think it was really cool. And then the tape would come out, you put it back in, you'd press the little button and I don't know, I used to just find that really, the mechanics of it just really cool. But obviously, you know, um, again, you could still use one of these. Bear in mind, this is more of an SD camera. So uh, what that basically means is like standard definition. So it's much lower quality of video. This one does actually take photos. Um, it does have optical zoom as well as digital zoom. It doesn't have a sort of a lens shutter. It just has a cap, which is so old now, it just falls off all the time. <laughs> but again, the principle's the same. You know, you have a nice view screen. You, you can see what you're doing. I don't believe this one was a touch, um, but obviously, to well, not obviously, but to record the video, you have to use a thing called a Firewire. So you used to have to connect to Firewire, have the right port on an older computer, and then you would have to physically tape or record the video. So if you'd record, say, hours of video, you'd have to sit there literally and watch it minute by minute and work out what you're gonna use, which was great, I guess, as, as an editor, but it, you know, in this fast age, it's much quicker to have SD cards or hard drives, isn't it? Um, but you know, if you want something a bit more vintage, I don't know, you just like to use something a bit older, might be something you might, might want to mess around with. I personally wouldn't bother with anything like this nowadays, um, just because it just takes too long, video quality is too poor. I'm used to far better cameras like the mirrorless M50 I'm using today, link to that will be in the description. But I just thought I'd show these sort of, you know, the different things you can use and I don't know, I just, I, personally, if I'm brutally honest, if you can start blogging or filming outside, I would just go with something like a GoPro. Um, anything from 9 onwards, they're all fantastic cameras, really producing nice high quality. The reason I haven't talked about them is because I just wanted to show you some video uh, camcorders that will give you some absolute value. So I'm Dave from TVR Creators, thank you so much for watching today. In a moment I'm going to leave you two end cards that I'm going to bring you even more value and I'll see you in the next video.